praise God this morning. Hallelujah. God is good. His name is worthy to be praised from the uprising to the ongoing. He never change. He never fail. He never give up on his people. Yes. I'm in the book of Psalm 53 this morning. And just to share it with you and let you know that God still care. And he still feel our pain, he see our suffering, and he realize that no one care except him. For flesh is failure. Yes, so the book of Psalms 53 is saying, the, the fool had said in his heart, there is no God, corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity, there is none that doeth good. So no one can just get up with their natural self and start doing good except the love of God is in them. So the fool have said in their heart there is no God and they do abominable. They do things that is contrary against righteousness. They, they do things and said God forget about the heart. They do things and they said you know we can get away with it. But the word of God is saying, God look down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there was any that did understand, that did seek God. So God is looking for us to seek him every day. But we choose the vanity and the material things of this life which satisfy not our soul. And as I always say, there is two sides to everything, natural and physical. Spiritual, natural, and physical. So every day we walk in the natural realm, but we need to know more about the spiritual realm. Because in the spiritual realm, there is an invisible force that we do not see. Yeah, and that force is Jesus Christ. Because we cannot see him, we only know feel them, we see the breeze, the sunshine, and everything in the universe manifested itself, but we cannot see who do it, so we don't have any fear. But God is calling back mankind to fear him. Fear him. The earthquake shaped the other day, and now we have the COVID-19. God is calling us that to show us that there is a God, and he still cares, and he expect us, expecting us to worship him in spirit and in truth. Every one of them is gone back. They are all together become filthy. There is none that do work good. No, not one. So all of us are responsible for this. None of us do good except God is in us. Evil presents itself at all times. And evil have a gen gender because it have a work to do and it cannot be done by Satan because Satan is also an invisible spirit. So he will use people with wicked heart, wicked intention to do what he has to do. Yeah. So the Psalms said 53, have the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who heat up my people as they had bread, they have not called upon God. So the word of God said, they heat up my people as they had bread, and they have not called upon their God. Praise God, the creator, the one that know our heart, examine us daily. Yes, praise God. They were all in great fear, where no fear was, for God had scattered the bones of them that encamped against thee. Thou hast put them to shame, because God has despised them. So it's a set time for us to do what we are doing. Because once God gets ready, everything has to move. God rise up, he scatter the evil workers, he scatter them, and put them to an open shame. This morning, my sinner friend, my brethren, my people, my nation, my country, my, the world, and the wider society, there is a God 
He see our heart, he see our mind, he see our soul. He understand what we are doing, and if we do not do the right thing, we will be punished for it. The word of God says, if it in this life we have hope, we would have men most miserable. Yes, we would miserable. So today, Psalms 58, verse 6. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, then God bring back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. So there is an invisible force which is in Jesus Christ who is going to break down captivity, save his people and allow them to rejoice and be glad. And such a time as this I am rejoicing and I'm glad because I see the hands of God writing on the wall. Praise God. Because God is no respecter of person and every man shall stand before him. The judge of the earth shall stand. The government shall stand. The poor shall stand. The harm shall stand. Pastors shall stand. A great multitude shall stand. So if we are trying to, to, to unfold the word of God, God's word cannot be broken. He said, Israel shall be glad. And we are not going to wait till we go in heaven to rejoice and glad. We are going to rejoice and glad right here on the earth. Because the Bible said, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Praise God. So we may try to do and invent a lot of things, but the Bible says, wisdom and knowledge shall be increased because it shall run like water so no one will break the word of god and the promise of god because the bible said the seed of abraham shall be as the sand of the seashore you can can you take up the sun and and, and count them no no one can do it so we cannot break the word of god psalms 24 verse 1 said the heart is the lord and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein. For he had founded it upon the sea and established it upon the flood. Praise God. Who shall ascend it in the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that had a clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lift up their soul unto vanity, are so deceitful. We shall receive the blessing of the Lord. The fifth verse said, He shall receive the blessing of the Lord and righteousness from the God of our salvation. So at this time, the word of God said, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There is a new, there is a new flowing is going on right now. There is a shift in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Can you feel it? Because the same old way that we used to operate, we are not going to be able to operate it anymore because the Spirit of God is moving upon the length and breadth of the world. So therefore, my brother and my sister, repent and do it the right way. Come the right way. Righteousness exalts a nation, and sin is a reproach to any people. God bless you.